did y'all even see Jake at the party last night? Yeah, he was hanging out with three different girls. Really? I thought he was going out with Chloe. Ugh, what a player. And he was dancing like he had a bee in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, I need to talk to you. It's an emergency. Okay, what's up? Outside. I need to talk to you outside. All right. I'll be right back. See ya. Bye. What's the matter? You okay? Something happened last night at the party. What? What is it? If I tell you, I promise you won't say anything. Jess, you're scaring me. To anyone. Of course. We're best friends. You can tell me anything. All right, well, I was with Rick at the party last night, and we were having a great time, and then the next thing I remember is, is Rick on, you know. What? Are you serious? He must have drugged my drink. I must have blacked out. You no, know, it's terrible, Jessica. You need to tell someone. No, it's too embarrassing. Just forget I said anything. Well, what about your mom? I can't tell her. She wouldn't understand. You need to tell her, Jess. Fine, whatever. Let's just go and get this over with. I can't do this. Don't worry. You've got this. You don't know my mom. It'll be fine. Trust me. Okay, okay. Wait here. I'll be right back. Mom? Mom, I really need to talk to you. Mom, it's important. I was at a party last night and something party. happened. What do you mean you were at a party last night? You were supposed to be with Iris. What were you doing at a something. party? You did not have permission to be at a party. Mom, I'm trying to tell you something. Why don't you ever listen to me? I've got to take this call. We'll have to talk about this later. Never mind. Just forget it. Did you know that 90% of those who engage in self-harm begin in their teen or pre-adolescent years? And nearly 50% of those who engage in self-harm activities do so because they've been sexually abused. That was true in my case, but there are plenty of reasons teens do harm to themselves. That's right. Recent research indicates that it also occurs with disorders like depression and anxiety, as well as eating disorders. And of course, suicide also qualifies as a form of self-harm, one that is terribly devastating to those left behind. No doubt. And if you see someone engaging in self-harm, do something. Don't just stand on the sidelines. Fortunately, Iris made the right choice and got me the help I needed right away. And now Jessica, with help from a mental health professional, has the opportunity to graduate from high school, go to college, and have a future. Remember, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And, and it's, it's one, one you can't, can't take back. back.